So it is currently 5 p.m. on Sunday and I am not ready for work tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. So I just got back from a 10 day vacation in Texas. If I'm going to come out of the gate sprinting through Monday, I have to make sure my floor is clean and that there's no dust or trash that will slow me down. If you watch my day in the life videos, you will know I love making iced lattes with my espresso machine. I like to give extra care to things that spark joy for me, as Marie Kondo would say. A lot of people, like three of you, have asked me if I have a background in coffee. Well, thank you, but I do not. The pandemic got me into it because I hated the idea of paying six bucks for iced lattes and having to get it delivered for an extra $5. Can you ever do the dishes? How do you do the dishes? Look off me. Mm -hmm. Sleeping in fresh sheets hits different. The toastiness, the crispiness, so cozy. Okay, okay, looks pretty good. All right, clean up for reals. Nothing feels better than waking up to a sparkling, clean kitchen. It really motivates me to cook more rather than feeling overwhelmed by all the clutter and end up getting delivery throughout the week. My colleague self would never. On my first date with my boyfriend, he asked me what I like to do during my free time. I said to him, I like to chill. Well, I wasn't lying. This is exactly what I meant. Laying down on my couch and eating Asian snacks that I used to eat growing up. Wow. Mm. When I was in Taiwan as a kid, they didn't have this flavor. I think they only had it in China, no? When we moved into this apartment, my only request was that we get a couch that can pull out into a bed like this one so that I can lay on it as I chill. On Sundays, I like to meal prep. I learned that you can become more productive by reducing the amount of decisions that you make during the day, like figuring out what's for lunch. I actually have a quick trick for removing mascara 
So you basically use hot water to like you rinse it off and it comes right off. I don't know if anyone knows this, but I discovered that in like ninth grade and I thought I was like the smartest person ever. So, so I have some hot water. Look. If I go to bed without my face feeling as soft as a bun, I'd rather not sleep. Wait, what? Oh, come on! This used to work. Growing up, my grandparents always carried around a pill case like this one, and I always wondered why they needed one. Now in my 20s, I finally understand why. It's because without it, I do forget whether I've taken my vitamins or not. Elver, I'm leaving your vitamins here, okay? I just leave it there. Hey Google. So now we're going to your bedroom. Don't you think we're moving too soon? To me, becoming an adult means knowing how to respond to my negative thoughts rather than engaging with them. Like Brene Brown says, we live in a scarcity culture where we always feel that we're not enough, not smart enough, not rich enough not successful enough, not extraordinary enough. My gratefulness journal is my way of responding to these negative thoughts. I write down three things I'm grateful for each day. I know it's cringe, but these three things I'm grateful for is a reminder to myself that I am enough and I am worthy, which I sometimes forget. When I first started, I was literally drawing a blank to even think about one thing I'm grateful for. But not today. I'm grateful for a fun trip in Texas. I got to have so many good iced lattes and had so much great food. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for their unconditional support in everything I do. Even though they are halfway across the world, I know that they're always just a phone call away. And last but not least, I'm grateful for you. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos and all of you who left encouraging messages of support. And to end this video, and in case you forgot, you are beautiful, you are worthy, and you are enough. I hope you're having a great day wherever you're watching this. See you next time. Ah, ah.